Hello everyone, welcome back to our class using metrics to derive each app strategy. Today we'll continue from module 4 performance metrics. Understanding performance metrics. Performance metrics are quantitative measures to assess an employee's productivity, effectiveness, and overall performance in a specific role. These metrics are used to evaluate an employee's performance against established standards or benchmarks and to identify areas for improvement. Performance metrics can be used to provide feedbacks to employees to inform decisions about promotions, transfers, or, lay or layoffs, and to identify training and development needs. Some common performance metrics include number one, productivity metrics. This metrics measures an employee's output in relation to a given amount of inputs. Examples include the number of units produced per hour, the number of calls answered per day, or the number of tasks completed in a given time frame. Number two, quality metrics. This metrics measures the accuracy, completeness, and overall quality of an employee's work. Examples include the percentage of error in completed tasks, customer satisfaction ratings, or compliance with established standard. Number three, time metrics. This metric measures how efficiently an employee uses their time. Examples include the amount of time spent on specific tasks, the time it takes to complete a project, or the number of deadlines met. Number four, cost metrics. This metric measures the cost effectiveness of an employee's work. Examples include the cost per unit produced, the cost per sales, or the cost per customer's acquisition. It is important to note that performance metrics should be carefully selected to align with the organization's goals and to accurately reflect the job respons responsibilities of the employees being evaluated. They should also be designed in a way that avoids bias and discrimination and that, and that takes into account the unique the unique circumstance of each employee and each job. To effectively use performance metrics, managers and HR professionals must be able to interpret the data and use it to make informed decisions. This requires the ability to identify patterns and trends, to compare performance against established benchmarks, and to analyze data in relation to other factors such as employee engagement, training and development opportunities. Overall, performance metrics are a valuable tool for managing employee performance and for driving organizational sources. By using these metrics to identify areas of improvement and to provide feedback to employees, managers and HR professionals can help to create a culture of continuous improvement and high performance within the organization.